absolutely no shade on anyone who uses the pumpkin that comes in a can, but I never really liked pumpkin things until I started using a real pumpkin. So I'm going to show you how to make a pumpkin puree from an actual pumpkin. I like to use the serrated knife and just be incredibly careful. You don't want to stab yourself. Just go around just like you're doing a jack-o'-lantern. Yes, it is pretty hard. So now we're going to cut it in half. This makes scooping out the seeds a lot easier and it doesn't have to be perfect. I always find that I get like this weird curve. Now we scoop. Every year about this time I think, grapefruit spoon, why don't I have a grapefruit spoon? Of course I'm going to save my seeds because I absolutely love pumpkin seeds. Mike is convinced that's the only reason I puree real pumpkins, so I can get the seeds. It's not true, but I can see why he thinks that. Okay, we have our two half pumpkins and they've been completely deseeded and mostly de-stringed. We're gonna sprinkle a generous amount of kosher salt and then bake them in the oven at 400 for somewhere between 30 and 45 minutes usually. Depends on the size of the pumpkin. We're gonna turn them upside down and get them in the oven. Our pumpkins are fresh from the oven and I just do a few test stabs. Your pure, pure your puree knife should go in pretty easily with almost no resistance, and that's how you know it's done. As you can imagine, having been in a 400 degree oven, these are very, very, very hot. So I'm going to very carefully peel the skins off. That's more like it. They usually do come off in big strips. very, very loosely cut some big pieces, dumped them in my food processor, and pureed them. I usually do half a pumpkin at a time, so I have enough room. And there you go, pumpkin puree. You can use it anywhere that you would use the stuff in the can. Again, no shade if you're using the stuff in the can. That's fine. Do you. But I like this works for me. Once I get all of my pumpkin pureed, I go back and I, whoops, I measure it out into one and two cup amounts and then I freeze them and then they are easy to grab when I need pumpkin puree for whatever pumpkin-y thing I'm going to make that day. And I always have fresh pumpkin puree. Two cups.